What up, everybody? It's your boy Magnus back with another custom 1 6 review. Yeah, your boy's back. And I'm doing it old school, retro style on the uh, review tip. Back to the computer desk. And if you could hear, I got a kick ass dubstep Halloween remix plan. It's got me a little amped right now. And uh, what better way to bring this fat ass soundtrack through than with a nice, beautiful custom piece by my boy Beto Metalli and Lupita? Uh, you know, the horror duo, the best in the game, when they're ripping up the horror customs. And they finally. Uh, Decided to tackle the Godfather, Michael Myers. So um, I'm bringing you this review right here. And uh, let me get right into it. So I'm going to bring you first. We're going to move Mikey to the side. And I'm going to show you the custom pumpkin. That was the H1 pumpkin from the original opening credits. As you can see here. Beautifully sculpted by Beto Metalli. And... Uh, Painted, I guess it was cast in an orange uh, resin and painted to perfection. And as you can see here, the pumpkin is lit up. And that was a little custom job by me. I uh, was out with my boy JP and my kids in the village uh, during uh, a few months back when this figure first came in. And we were just shopping around for costumes and stuff and came across these uh, little dollar candle lights. So I uh, bust one open and stuck the light inside because as you can see here, Beto has uh, left a hole inside so you could put one in there with a lighting or a candle or anything. So I just dissected the little uh, flickering candle and threw it inside my pumpkin. And as you can see, the effect is it's fucking awesome, man, and uh, really adds to the piece. So Beto, your idea to put the hole on the bottom was a uh, genius and it really pulled through. I could spend a couple minutes just talking about this damn pumpkin. So as you can see here guys, it also has the little slice in the nose. I want you to see some of the detail on this because it's just that beautiful. And then we'll get to Mikey. So as you can see the hole here, the full pumpkin, stump. Yeah, I'm just moving the light around. It's probably going to go out. That's good. So now you get to see it without the light on. Look at that, man. That's opening credits, baby, right there. You can't beat that. Oh, man, it feels... Oh, look at that. Magical. It's coming back on when it feels like it. That's real spooky. <laughs> um, yeah, this is this is what I'm talking about, man. I'm, I'm feeling really good about doing a review again. It's got me kind of hype. Of course, Beto gives you the uh, Hot Toy Style stand with the Halloween logo embossed on there. But I'm not going to use that, so, you know, I'll leave that off to the side. So uh, that goes in storage. And then you go to the beautiful custom box, as you can see here, Halloween 1978, Michael Myers on custom figure, one six custom figure by Lou and Beto Metalli, 2012. And he's got the artwork of Michael Myers there, the Beto version. All right, autographed on the side, of course. This is the uh, little uh, graphic signature. And from Beto, a little message. Mike, beware of the book. Beto Mattel, 2012. Thank you, brother. That's, that's my boy right there. As you can see, this came in a nice uh, shoebox style case. And uh, now we'll get to the uh, meat and potatoes of the review. Michael Myers. And as you know already, I've been through a few Myers in my collection, still on the quest to have the uh, perfect one. And this is as close as I've gotten, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Shit, this is gonna be crazy. Maybe I could uh, turn a light on and we could uh, get a little better view. As you know, like I said, many Myers I've been through. Surfers Myers, uh, One's Customs, of course. The King of Myers, done so many. And I uh, was waiting always for Beto to take his shot. A little story at the 1-6 Expo. Uh, Beto had a prototype Myers there at the time, and I was crazy for it, and you know, just wanted to have it because of the most accurate overalls that you know, Lupita just can't get it wrong with the uh, detail in the clothing. So you know, when you're fucking with uh, Beto and Lupita, you you're gonna have a crazy outfit. So um, it was it was it was a it wasn't a perfect Myers at the time, head sculpt wise, but the clothing and the body was there, so it was definitely sought after, and it was just a taste of what Beto had to come. But uh, he never uh, put it out right away. It was something that went on the back burner because uh, Fluffy and other things were uh, still in the process. So uh, Beto finally got there. And uh, let me just get into this, man. So we have the movie accurate boots. And as you can see here, these are the army green boots that were worn in the movie by Nick Castle. 
And uh, Beto doesn't miss a detail, man. I'm telling you, he went and checked back on everything. As you can see here, these are the boots that were worn in the Navy. They were not shoes, they were army boots. Now we go on to the beautifully tailored coveralls. One piece coverall by the magnificent Lupita, who I'm totally in love with. <laughs> yeah, uh, Lupita has uh, captured Myers perfectly here. As you can see, the, the hugginess of the, uh, the clothing to the true type body. With This is the uh, true type body. I don't remember the actual number, but it's the one that has the sculpted neck. And uh, it has the perfect build for Maya. So as you can see here, you have the uh, just the uh, form-fitting style. You have the elastic around the waist, which of course when you follow it, and if you're a real fan of the movie, you will know right back here, which I don't know if I have enough light, that um, there is a, a rip in the clothing in the movie. And it is there, as you can see. I'm zooming in on it. We keep the court that. It's in a fold right now because of the elastic, but the rip is there. So Lupita has been watching this movie just as much as probably we've seen it over the years. And uh, let me stand this up correctly. And uh, she's caught everything, even down to the uh, little hole in the elbow, which now it looks like it's a little higher because I have him holding the knife. But um, you got here the one open pocket and then the other pocket with the flap. Perfect. Uh, the little slit in the wrist. I mean, this is the real deal, guys. You can't uh, get any better than this. You can get a Saturday of Toys coverall and diet, but you're not matching this color and quality. Look at the way she has the uh, fold on the collar. Just perfect. The black undershirt underneath, which you need if you want your uh, accurate Myers costume. Uh, custom. Myers did have the black t-shirt. Uh, get the back of it, there you go. And now I'm gonna get onto the uh, sculpted parts that Beto tackled also. So we have here, which this is a Beto hand. This isn't a Hot Toys hand. Uh, as you can see, it's got the dark nails. Shit, man, focus. Um, yeah, so you can see, ah, man, this is killing me. There we go, so. You got a detailed flesh colored hand that's straight out there. And then you also have uh, another sculpted hand, which is a veiny fist. So you see Beta caught that perfect. And then onto the uh, magnificent custom Lamson knife. Let me see if I can pull this out real quick. Look at that beautiful head sculpt. Oh my God, insane. Yes, so this uh, Lamson, let me show you right here, is real metal, as you could hear it, if you could hear it over this damn loud music. And uh, it is just one of the most beautiful things. As you know, Beto is a master of accessories as well. Uh, the Book of the Dead and uh, many other things that he's tackled, Freddy's gloves. He always uses real steel and it's uh, got a perfect finish. And um, even has the, uh, the edge, the, the smooth edge of the blade. And if you can catch that, it is just insane. And it's sharp as hell. Perfect wooden handle with the metal line inside. Flawless. This is how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. Look at, look at that, man. Look at that edge. You can open your letters with this if you want. Keep it around. Have Mikey be your little uh, helper on your desk. Thinking about doing that. <laughs> and now on to the magnificent head sculpt. As you know, uh, it's very hard to capture Michael Myers, and a lot of custom artists have tried over the years. Uh, most notably lately is uh, One's Customs, of course. Uh, the uh, newcomer that's on the Sideshow Freaks, The Mad Bug, which did an excellent Michael Myers, and uh, the other newcomer also, Kane. I uh, wasn't too fond of his first sculpt, but uh, his new sculpt that he shows, his second revision of Myers, is a lot better job, and um, I'll give him some props for that for sure. And this is Beto's version. Um, as you can see here, Myers is, like I said, not easy to capture. And everybody's uh, version of Myers is captures the look in a different light. But they uh, all offer something to the table. Um, you can also hear this in uh, my man Joe Biz's review. So I'll put a link to the uh, his reviews also in my description. Because uh, he just reviewed this figure also and it was a great review. Um, the hair... To my liking, I think I need to add a little uh, wax, so I'm just not good at styling it. But it could definitely be styled a little better to bring out the sculpt. But the sculpt is fucking fantastic. 
and of course with Beto's paint the shadows are crazy um, when you turn the light out you can definitely get a more feel of the movie oh look at that man it's like you can get those uh, real screenshots from like the telephone and uh, just far away shots closet shots um, just amazing amazing work as you can see here it's real nice with the shadows fucking sick um, you also have the uh, painting of the flesh colored part of the neck from uh, when Nick Castle was constantly pulling down on the mask so you know you see the different coloring right there you also have the hole from when uh, Lori stabbed him with the uh, knitting needle in the couch in the living room so that is accurate as hell you see the lines in the mask up here everything is there um, sorry if this is out of focus but um, I, I gotta invest in a new camera soon of course, like I said, the hair is perfect. I just need to uh, put a little more love and um, maybe some wax in there so I can style it a little better. But uh, you could also see the slit in the back of the mask. Um, perfect. Like I said, this is on the uh, true type with the sculpted neck. So you can do the head tilt, but you have to lift the head sculpt a little bit to get the joint moving because I have it down pretty tight. So I'm not going to try to do that right now. And, uh... That's about it. It looks like uh, this is one of my first reviews where the music's actually run out. And um, I apologize for that, but I guess I'll just keep it more uh, natural and real. Like I said, I haven't been around in a long time, and um, I apologize for that. But uh, it feels good to be back again, and that's the beautiful thing about this community. It's always here. There's always somebody offering something. So if one person isn't around for a while, the other people pick up the slack, and it's you could come back in and just do your thing and feel that love again. Um, much love to uh, Beto Metalli and Lupita for knocking out another masterpiece. If you're looking at this figure right here with this perfect distance and shadow, that is fucking Michael Myers. Amazing, amazing figure. And uh, I don't think anybody's ever going to uh, tackle these uh, coveralls to this perfection like Lupita has. And uh, I expect nothing less from the masters. So um, much love. Happy Halloween. That's another reason why I'm going to be putting up this review because uh, we missed Halloween this year. I was actually stuck working the uh, Hurricane Sandy overnights at my job and um, didn't get to dress up, didn't get to go out to the parade. There was no parade. It was canceled. And uh, of course, because there's a lot more serious things going on in life. But uh, coming home and looking at this figure makes me feel good and uh, reminds me of the holiday. So uh, happy Halloween to everyone and that I missed. And uh, to all my New Yorkers out there that didn't get to have our Halloween, this video is dedicated to y'all. And uh, much love to everyone. Mag's out of here. Peace.